St. Lucia may be a small island country in the Caribbean, but it is worth visiting. Here are the top things to do in St. Lucia. Do stick around until the end to discover the breathtaking attraction at number 1. Number 9. Hike up the Pitones If you know a little about St. Lucia, then chances are that you already know about the Pitones, which is the country's famous landmarks. The Pitones are two mountainous volcanic plugs rising from the sea and towering to great heights. These prime topographic features were formed by volcanic activities about 300,000 years ago, and they have since been adopted as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, along with the entire Pitones management area. The Pitone to the south is about 2,600 feet high and is known as Gros Pitone, while its twin is about 2,400 feet high and is known as Petit Pitone. Of course, both Pitones are climbable, but the difficult hike to the summit makes many tourists settle for the view from below. But if you are up for the task, you can join other tourists to make your way up the Pitones. Once you get to the summit, you'll be greeted with an incredible view of the island that will definitely be worthwhile. Number 8. Go Fishing in the Fishing Village of Soufriere Perhaps you already know how most island countries have some excellent fishing platforms. Well, St. Lucia is hardly any different. In fact, it takes this activity to a different level by dedicating entire villages to the cause. Soufriere is a colorful fishing village on the island's south end, and it is the most popular of the six fishing villages here. Plus, it is just a few miles away from the famous Pitones, and it is certainly worth a stop by. Once you get here, you'll find that it is not called a fishing village for no reason. A significant part of the village is occupied by the water body where most of the fishing is done. You'll also find many fishermen on their boats going about their daily fishing routines. If you have prior fishing knowledge, you can join in on the fun and see how many fish you can catch. Thankfully, the locals here are also willing to teach you a skill or two to help you fare better on the tides. Number 7. Explore the Deep at Ants Chastanay Up next is another sea experience, but this time you will be exploring the deep at the Ants Chastanay Marine Reserve. Ants Chastanay is located at the heart of St. Lucia's marine reserves and is surrounded by coral reefs. So you already know you are in for an experience of a lifetime, navigating the deep in this reserve. Plus, the coral reef underneath the surface of Ants Chastanay is truly a sight to behold, as it harbors a delightful variety of sea life. This is undoubtedly the place to be if you are a scuba diver or a fan of deep water activities. You'll find many expert divers here equally excited to experience the paradise below the surface in this marine reserve. And once you get in, you'll be awestruck by the view of colored sponges, parrotfish, goatfish, and barracudas, among others. Number 6. Take a mud bath at the Sulphur Springs Sulphur Springs is a geothermal field in the district of Soufriere on the southwestern part of the island. It is the most active geothermal field in the Lesser Antilles and it was named after the sulfur mining activities that once took place on the site. One of the most spectacular things about this park is the road, traversing the 900-foot crater that allows you to actually drive in a volcano. A tour through the Sulphur Springs is a must-do in St. Lucia, and it is often capped off by a mud bath in the Sulphur Springs pool. Moreover, the mud is believed to have a mysterious healing power that soothes travel-weary muscles and refreshes the body. Legend also says that a dip in the mud pool can make you 10 years younger, so feel free to hop in and let the mud do its magic. You can rinse yourself in the hot spring nearby after your bath, but make sure to apply the volcanic mud all over your body. Number 5. Relax at Marigot Bay St. Lucia is rapidly becoming a favorite destination for tourists visiting the Caribbean, and the ideal bays and beaches on the island are playing a significant part in this recent pull. If you are visiting St. Lucia for the beach and bay experience, you already know you are in for a treat. However, you will be missing out on a whole lot if you do not check out the magnificent Marigot Bay. This is definitely the most beautiful bay in the country, and it's not even a close call. It is located on the island's western coast, and it's definitely worth a place on your Caribbean bucket list. Of course, much of the bay's popularity comes from its mesmerizing beauty, and you can take in this beauty from the surrounding hills but then you may want to get up close and relax on the equally magnificent beach below. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 4. Go Shopping at Castries Market One thing you'll quickly realize here on the island is that St. Lucians are interesting people with a unique way of life. Well, if you want to study and interact with them better, you may need to head up to the ever-busy Castries Market in the capital city. This colorful market has been the main food market here for the past century, and it's where you'll experience local life at its finest. 
you will certainly be entertained by the distinguished manner with which the vendors go about their business here, and you'll also find the negotiation skills of the buyers quite applaudable. Don't be shy to join in on the act of buying a few items for yourself. You might even be lucky enough to get the perfect take-home souvenir here at a giveaway price. Number 3. Check out the Pigeon Island National Landmark Pigeon Island is one of the major landmarks in St. Lucia, and it may well be the country's most important historic attraction. The British occupied this island during the battle with the French over the country, and the strategic lookouts here helped them monitor their adversaries' movements. Today, the ruins on the island make it an ideal hiking destination, which is now more accessible thanks to the causeway connecting the island to the mainland. Tourists who find their way here often take advantage of the lookouts to enjoy a panoramic view of St. Lucia. You can also explore the remnants of the army equipment left here or sunbathe on either of the two white sand beaches on the island. Number 2. Enjoy Water Sports at Splash Island Water Park The Splash Island Water Park is an open water sports park along Reduit Beach, and it is the perfect destination for a family getaway. This family-friendly park is always buzzing with lots of fun activities and there's a sport for every family member to participate in. The park is one of St. Lucia's newest attractions, but it has also become one of the most visited thanks to the popular Reduit Beach close by. It is also the first of its kind in the entire Caribbean, so you should definitely make the most of this opportunity to enjoy an exciting time at the park. Number 1. Visit Diamond Falls Botanical Garden now, for a well-deserved break from the sun and sands of the exotic beaches, you may want to head down to the Diamond Falls Botanical Gardens. Located in the Soufriere Estate, the garden is an ideal relaxation spot with three popular attractions. Firstly, the well-kept garden here is rich in flowers and plant life. Secondly, the immaculate waterfall with shades and colors from mineral deposits is a spectacle to behold. And finally, the hot spring beneath the falls is therapeutic and soothing for the skin. These attractions are all yours to explore at the Diamond Falls Botanical Garden, and you'll do well to make it a priority on your bucket list of things to do in St. Lucia. Click here for more places to visit in the Caribbean.